and the Nigerian Union of Railway Workers and its senior staff, Senior Staff Association, SSANUR, have unanimously vowed to down tools without prior notice over the anti-workers activities by the federal government. The two unions, while taking the decision based their plan, strike over age-long neglect of the welfare of workers of a corporation and the inability of the federal government to give insurance cover for the workers, especially those driving the trains. As a joint press briefing in Lagos, the President General Comrade Innocent Luka Ajiji said a threat to down tools can take place without any further warning following the threat of lives of members and poor remuneration for the workers. Ajiji, while corroborating the state, made the President of NUR, Comrade Aliyu Menasara, and the union is using this medium to call on both the management and government to act accordingly by ensuring lives of the workers in view of first of its kind bombing of the train. They, their lives have not been insured. And uh, if federal government can purchase a locomotive and insure the lives of those locals, what of the people that are equally driving all those locals, looking after all those infrastructure? So that means if a local driver died today, he died for nothing. And those are the things that we are saying no to it. And uh, we want the federal government to equally look at it. Otherwise, we can take any other measure that we think is better for us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Happened, but they succeeded in vandalizing our track and in, in detonating our track. And then also guns were used, gunshots were all over the locomotive. And the target for that was to kill the driver so that the train will come to a stop for them to now perpetrate their act. So we are here today to tell the whole world that it was a terrorist attack. It wasn't the vandals, it wasn't the thieves or local thieves or whatever, but it was